Hey folks, uh, Mr. Mathlog here, and this lesson is uh, the section 8 of chapter 2 in our textbook. So it's called Multiplying Using Mental Math. So um, here we're going to use um, uh, some math strategies, uh, uh, our properties of multiplication, uh, to help us multiply numbers. So some nice tricks in here. So uh, prior knowledge here, you guys, the commutative property, um, A times B times C, is what I'm going to do is commute some numbers around the multiplication. So what I'll do is I'll, let's see, I forgot which ones I did on this example. Oh, I commuted uh, B and C around that multiplication. You know when I drive to work, I commute to work. Well, this B and C commuted around this multiplication pr uh, problem, so it became C times B. Okay, and you'll see some great advantages of that in this lesson right here. So that's called the commutative property. So, for example, if I did 2 times 7 times 5, I can commute uh, uh, the 7 times 5 around this multiplication symbol and make it 5 times 7. And then I can multiply 2 times 5 first, and 2 times 5 is, is 10. Okay, and 10 times 7 is 70. Okay, you get 70 if you did 2 times 7, which is 14. And then 14 times 5 is also 70, but that's one good trick you can use right there by the commutative property. Okay, the associative property has some nice tricks to it too. The associative property says instead of associating these two numbers first, we can associate the second two numbers first. Okay, so, and there's other strategies also I'll show you in here. So, for example, 7 times 4 times 5 is the same as 7 times, and then multiply 4 times 5 first, and 4 times 5 is 20. And then, uh, so 7 times 2 is 14, so add the 0, and you get 14 with the 0. Okay, so just some nice tricks here. So, uh, so here we have uh, four sections of seats in the theater. Each section has eight groups of seats, and each group has 25 seats. So how many seats are total in the theater right there? Okay, so they want us to multiply 4 times 8 times 25. Okay, so what we're going to do is use the commutative property and commute the 8 and the 25 around this multiplication symbol and make it 25 times 8. Okay, 4 times 25. Can, do you guys know how much money you have when you have 4 quarters? 4 quarters equals a dollar. Okay, so uh, tw a quarter is 25 cents. So 4 times 25 is equal to 100. Okay, and then now we can just do 100 times 8. Well, 1 times 8 is 8. And then... Um, Oops, I forgot. I, I should have put that in there first. 4 times 25 is this 100 right here. Sorry, that's just a little bit out of place there. And then um, uh, now we're going to multiply 8 times 100, and we get 800. Okay, so what we did, we could have got 800 if we would have done 4 times 5 and got 32. And then 32 times 25 is also 800. But look how convenient it was to multiply these two numbers first. So we commuted these two numbers around this multiplication symbol. And then we multiplied 4 times 25 first and gave us 100. And then 100 times 8 is 800. It's nice that way, isn't it, you guys? So there's 800 seats in the theater. All right, so um, how, how could we know that 4 times 25 help us find um, uh, 7 times 25? Well, that's easy. Well, since 4 times 25 is 100 and 3 times 25 is 75, well, 4 plus 3 gives me the 7. So I would just take the 100, um, uh, the 100, from the 4 times 25 and the 75 from the 3 times 25 and just add those together. So 7 times 25, here's 4 times 25, here's 3 times 25. So we get 175. So just some nice tricks on this one. Let's try it with this one here. Use mental math and multiplication properties. Okay, so let's find 7 times 10 and then times 10. Okay, well that one's pretty easy. You can do it just the way it's set up right there nice and easily. But um, uh, if we just uh, multiply 10 times 10 first, and think of that as 100 right there, that's the associative property, because instead of associating these two numbers in the parentheses, I associate these two numbers in the parentheses. That's what associative property is, okay? And then 7 times 100 is 700, okay? How about this one? 4 times 8 times 25, okay? What I'm going to do first is do the commutative property. It's kind of hard to see that, but can you see this uh, 4 times 8 commuted over on this side and the 250 commuted on this side? So there's the multiplication symbol, and they just went around them, the uh, multiplication symbol. So that's why it's called the commutative property, because this commuted over from here, and then this commuted over from here. So they commuted around the multiplication symbol. All right, now I'm going to use the associative property and group uh, the 20, 250 times uh, 4. Okay, 250 times 4. Remember, 25 times 4 is 100. So just add a 0 on that. 250 times 4 
is going to be a thousand right there okay so by the associative property I associated these two numbers instead of these two numbers first okay and then a thousand times eight that's easy enough that's going to be eight thousand okay and we would have got eight thousand if we would have multiplied four times eight is thirty two and then thirty two times two hundred fifty and Ugh, that just that just looks like a disaster to me. So if we can just uh, use a little bit of uh, mental math right here, commutative property and associative property, it just made it nice and fast, you guys. Isn't that slick, you guys? All right, let's try some more, you guys. So here's some more strategies. So we're going to use numbers that are friendly right here. Okay, well, since 28 is the same as 7 times 4, you guys, and and um, and if I take that 4 and multiply it times 250, I get 1,000. So I'm going to, instead of it being 28, I'm going to think of it as 7 times 4. And then I'll multiply the 4 times 250. Okay, so 7 times 4 times 250. And then multiply those together, and I get 1,000 right there. And then 7 times 1,000 is 1,000. Whoops, I didn't put that in there. Let me put that in there, by golly. So this is going to equal 1,000 right here, okay? So equals 7,000. Okay, sorry about that. I thought I did that. All right, let's try the next one here, you guys. Okay, nice, huh? Nice little trick. Okay, 16 times 500. Okay, so you can do uh, halves of numbers and double numbers if you want. And then think of 500. What multiplies ne uh, nicely with 500, or just with 5, actually? That's uh, uh, either half or double of uh, 16. Well, if I took half of 16, which is 8, you guys, 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, and since uh, uh, 8 times 5 is 40, then what I can do is multiply 8 times 500 and get a 40 with two more zeros on it. And then, and then since I took half of it, I can double that answer and get the answer. Okay, so 8 times 500 is 40 with two zeros. Okay, so because of these two zeros right here, I just did a 40 with those two zeros right there. And then uh, since uh, 8 was half of 16, then I'm just going to double it to get... Um, uh, back to 16, so if I just double 4,000, that's going to get me 8,000 right there, okay? So if I multiplied 16 times uh, 500, it would get me 8,000. Okay, just another quick trick, you guys, and you just got to practice them a little bit, and you'll get better, and especially if you do the assignment in the book, that'll help you a lot, you guys, just using these tricks. Just practice, practice, practice. You know, you don't get good at basketball. Uh, unless you practice a lot or you don't get good at whatever sports you're playing unless you practice a lot and your math right now is your sport so doing the assignments in the book is your practicing time and you're just getting better and getting better so really uh, I tell my kids doing your assignment is where you really get strong in math okay four times 725 okay what I'm gonna do is think of 725 as an addition problem is 700 plus 25 okay because I can multiply four times seven and get 28 and so add two zeros and you know what 4 times 25 is. That's 100 right there, okay? So I'm going to multiply 4 times 725 as 4 times 700 plus 25. Now I'm going to use the distributive property and multiply 4 times 700 plus 4 times 25. And I think your book asks you down below what property did you use right there. That was called the distributive property. We distributed this 4 through the parentheses. 4 times 700, 4 times 25. Okay, 4 times 7 is 28, and add two zeros right there. Plus, 4 times 25 is a 100 right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those in there. And then 2,800, or 2,800, plus one more 100 is 2,900. Okay, I like to say call this 2,900, but that's, uh, that's okay. 2,900 or 2,900. Okay, how about this one? Use subtraction, you guys. 5 times 398. Well, think of 398, that is 2 less than 400 right there. So if I can think of 398 as 400 minus 2, and then again use the distributive property right here. So instead of 398, I'll multiply 5 times 400, and then do 5 times 2, and then subtract those again. That's called the distributive property, 5 times 400, 5 times negative 2. We distributed the 5 through. 5 times 4 is 20, remember that? And then 20 with these two zeros right there, so it's going to be 2,000. And then we're going to subtract 5 times 2, which is 10. So 2,000 minus 10 is 1,990. Okay, pretty slick little tricks in there, huh? Take care, everybody.